In this video, we want to look at how to load the virtual machine that we downloaded from Oracle's eDelivery website. In the previous videos, we've looked at how to extract the files and also how to install the Oracle VM software. So let's go and look at how to load the virtual machine. But before we load the virtual machine, there's a few things that we need to be aware of. One is that the RAM required for the virtual machine is 14 gig, 14 GB of RAM. Yes, that's quite a lot of RAM and that's the minimum. The hard drive space that we require is 300 gig, about 300 gig. Next thing to note is that the BIOS of your computer needs to be enabled for virtualization. You can find that in your BIOS of your system. Every system is different, so the BIOS of your machine will be different from mine. One, thing, one other thing to note is that when this system is installed, we will be looking at additional setups before we start to use the um, software. So let's have a look at our main prerequisites. So first of all, on my PC, I have about 363 gig free. And let's go to my downloads folder. So that's the file that I want to import. So I'm going to open my VirtualBox. So you open up VirtualBox and go to File, Import Appliance. And I'm going to find the file that I've extracted. It's under Downloads 12.2.7. And I'm going to select open. I'm going to click on next. And then it'll give me a brief summary of what I'm about to import. You can see that the RAM is 14 gig of RAM. And I've got four CPUs on this. This is what is there. And this is where my virtual image will be stored this is my original vm image that's this is where it's going to be stored and i'm going to click on import and that will import the appliance this takes a few minutes and you can use this time to go and get yourself a coffee or relax and then come back and have a look at the stage of the import. So we can now see that the installation process is complete and we can see the virtual machine listed in the list of VMs, imported virtual machines. So what we are going to do now is look at the settings very quickly and then we are going to switch on the VM and log into the system. So very quickly in the settings, select settings. You can see the general settings, the name of the virtual machine where the snapshots are stored, description and any encryption. In, this, is, this is the system area, this is very important. So first of all, you need to specify the base memory. So I'm going to leave it as is, just over 14 gig of RAM. And then you have your processor. So I'm going to I've got 16 CPUs, I'm going to just leave it at 4. So leave the acceleration as is. Floppy boot order, so we leave everything as is. Display, we leave it all as is. As is. Storage tells us where the files are stored. So users, administrator, 
um, and then we can see that it's under my VMs. And we can see the actual size of the file, which is 280, um, just over 280 gig. Audio, we don't need audio. And then let's look at the network. The first one is the bridge adapter. So we're gonna leave it as is, as bridge adapter. Um, you can change this later if you want to use either bridged NAT or host only. So uh, I will show you how to change those details later. And for now, um, we're gonna use the bridge adapter. Serial ports, USB, shared folders, we'll leave everything as is for now. So click on OK. So that's how to load the virtual machine. In the next video, we'll be looking at how to boot the virtual machine and then start to use it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.